Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. My name's McCall and today I'm going to show you how to varnish a painting. You might be wondering like why do I even need to varnish my painting? Well one of the reasons is it will protect your painting and another one is it brings out the colors as you could see as I was going from top to bottom on each of these. This is the first time I've ever varnished a painting um, because I paint with acrylics a lot and my oil painting teacher just never went over that. So my education was lacking but yours isn't. First thing you need are your paintings. They should be dry. Any of the big globs of oil paint should be dry. This is the only one of these paintings that I actually did. This is one I bought from Travis Schlott when we did our Zion painting workshop, which I love so much. I don't want anything to happen to it. And this is actually one I got when I was in Poland at a little swap meet. And this is a reproduction of a Stanisław Wyszwiański painting. Um, so you can see Wyszwiański and it's called Sleeping Stash or Spiały Stash. So these are three I, I just wanted to preserve, especially these two that I bought. There's a few different varnishes you can get. However, this one stands out as being the one the artist seemed to recommend the most. And the artist that I trust recommend the most. This is a Gamblin brand. It's called Gambar Satin. And you can get gloss, you can get matte. I just chose satin because I don't, I don't really like high gloss. I worry about the reflections of it. But I have heard that if you choose the gloss, it does bring out the dark colors a little bit more. So the first thing you need are your paintings and make sure they're completely dry and then you need your varnish. Choose whatever finish you would like. You need something to brush on the varnish with. Typically a, a brush where the bristles are not going to come off. There are varnish brushes um, but it should be softer bristles. One that just kind of can lay it across the painting and I have two different sizes because this one is, is so small. I would definitely recommend using a nicer brush to apply the varnish so that you don't get hairs from the brush in your varnish and on your painting. This is a Princeton snap brush. It's a one inch stroke brush and it's working great. This is a Princeton one and a half inch flat brush. This is the Elite series. You need a container to put the gambar in. I'm just gonna put it in my teacup. I'm gonna open a window actually really quick because I care about my health. So open a window. Make sure you have ventilation while you do this because this varnish um, has a warning on it that it's combustible and the vapor is harmful. So, and it's um, fatal if swallowed. So keep this away from children. Before you pour the varnish into a cup, you kind of need to shake it up. So shake it. I'm gonna start on mine since I don't care as much. <laughs> Maybe I should, but I don't. So step number one, get your dry painting. Step number two, pour your varnish into some kind of container. Step three is to make sure all the dust is off of your painting. And I'm just brushing it off with a clean brush. You could use canned air if you're, you know, if you care so much. And also make sure your painting is flat and you want it to dry flat or you could get some drips. Oh, wow. It's like a whole new painting. Like you couldn't even see those clouds in the sky before. Make sure you cover all of it. I've kind of missed some of these corners. You can kind of see the difference between the top and the bottom. This is so exciting. You can also varnish acrylic paintings. I can see a ton of hairs from the brush when <laughs> I was painting this. This was plain air painting. I actually totally just copied Travis's painting. That's probably why this looks so good. <laughs> it's not nearly as good as his was, but it looks better than something I would have done on my own. So just go over it, make sure you've covered all of the painting. Kind of look from the side, make sure you don't have any um, hairs from your brush. Also, I would look for any areas that it's kind of pooled up and, and pull it off. I'm just kind of drying off my brush and just like kind of going along any edges where it looks like that varnish is too thick. Oh, 
And voila, now just let it dry. And let's go ahead and paint Sleeping Stash. And this one, I really just need just a tiny bit of varnish on it. Okay. Wow. Oh, wow, it's like a whole new painting. I didn't know about this. <laughs> this is it's amazing. Okay, and I'm just gonna set this aside. And now, Travis is painting. So I'm just gonna start from the top and move to the bottom. Also, this one I didn't make sure, because this has been in my studio, which, I mean, I'm sculpting, I'm doing all sorts of things in there. So this definitely could have some debris on it. Just make sure it's clean. There's no dust on it. Here it goes. This is so exciting. I don't know why, why have I waited so long? I have so many paintings to varnish. If you've ever had the chance to travel to Southern Utah, you can probably recognize Zion National Park. Okay. Oh my heck. Now I'm just gonna soak up any, any puddles I got. I definitely have some pools of varnish. I don't want it to be so thick. I really want to see these brush strokes underneath, but I do want to protect this painting. By going across the painting this way, you can make sure that you haven't missed any spots. But if you're worried, you can just look from the side and just see where it's shiny and if it's not shiny somewhere, that means you missed it. And that's it. Now you know how to varnish a painting. Also remember, you can varnish acrylic paintings. Thank you for joining me on Mr. Otter Studio. I hope you have a wonderful day.